Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to XDF Monthly Records. XDWC is over. It's still November, so this is still on time. And it was a pretty good month of October. We had 20 days before XDWC kicked off, so there are some great records going on that we can hop into. We have had 163 total records, cool right up at the top, followed by Riffa, Amino, Woe, Amnesia, as do Dawn Enjoyer, Termarinita, Nope, Shinx, Fran, Akimoli, Silni, Source, Mizo, Pakistan, Riona, Me with Two, Straight, TQ, Deadfast, Goblin, JH, Kabla, Rainbow Shadow, Knight, Rogue, Shiro, Solvoy, and I forgot how you pronounce that one. I translated that and found out how you pronounce it. Three times now and I can't remember. So there we go. <laughs> Flicking it over to the stats. Uh, I guess we're starting off on Hardcore Parkour. So Riffo at the top. Cool moving up one place. Kicking Nope off of the uh, top three. Or uh, down into third place out of the three. Dizzy Shiro. All these guys stay in the same place. Uh, Juhu moves up one, overtaking up three. And... Vs moves up two places? Damn. Uh, a couple of Vs maps must have been ran, because I don't think I've seen Vs on. There we go. Source stays at the top, just ahead of um, Goblin. Dog cunt. Rogue there in third. Everyone staying the same till seventh. Mui overtakes Little Mole. Woe goes up two places with JH staying the same in the middle and Nero dropping down uh, two places. Asju's up one place, overtaking Dead Fast, and the rest of the top 20 stays as is. 190. Interesting. That's the wrong number. 164 total records, 113 videos on 100 unique maps, and 30 unique players. Very, very good this month. And we're going to start off with my record, because I've got one. Finally, I got a record. So here we go, because I'm very proud of this one still. I set this on the first, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm very proud of this record. We're going to start off, we've got a new thing going on actually. So we're going to start off with the record, with the ones that are specifically chosen, that we know are good, that have been recommended to me. Then we're going to move on to doing all of the new maps this month um, that have been uploaded to the server, or at least the ones that have records on them. So yeah, here we go with my run. On Rico Downhill 1. This map is not a free map. Um, there is a cut and I did do a better version of the cut. Sorry about how horrible it is. Uh, I was playing on like R underscore ambient minus 40 I think. To make this look somewhat decent. And everything pick mapped because the stream was dying. So yeah, Asju was getting crazy starts, but he just couldn't get under there and then get the, the cut to work. And then you just got to hold it together till the end. Because it was absolutely mad. And then hope that you don't eat too much on the way up. And yeah, big 1.3 over, which was already world record on the previous one. By Woe, I do believe. Cool here on his own map, Coolwood Tory Strafe. I managed to get a pretty decent run on this map as well. This was pretty much an XDWC warm-up, uh, this map, for the last three days before XDWC started. This map must have been on RTG and RR half the time we were playing. This map really got ground out, and it's a great map. You know, you could definitely... This is XDWC quality, uh, for sure. For sure, this is, like, World Cup quality mapping. Even if Cool will say that it's just uh, it's just a bad map. Still haven't worked out how to get audio to uh, not go down to the level of whatever I set VLC to with MPV. Running the music through VLC, running the video through uh, MPV. But every time it goes back to the 50% that I set 
VLC to so that it's not overpowering me, which is just weird, but whatever. VP Untitled 1, these are actually new maps, I think. I think we just had those two as uh, great records that I saw. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure this is a new map. But it's still a good record. So, yeah. Quite a lot of new map records this month, I remember. It took a while to get them all up. But all of the rec all of the new records will be the fastest time set in the month. Um, so some of them could be really rubbish because they were set at 2 in the morning with nobody online and somebody accidentally finished. And some of them could be pretty good because they've already been ground out a little bit. But we'll see. There's a couple that have had two rec like two record videos within the month. So those ones I picked whichever was the fastest off the two. Show off the best. But some of these records could be ones that, probably not this month, but in the future, could be ones that you might want to hop on quickly and take if you're early to watching this, if you're watching on the streams. Take a record. Yeah, show off some of the, the new maps. Some of them are old, obviously, old hat from Quake 3, and some of them are pretty brand new to Zenotic. Hopefully we'll get some more maps in soon. I'm building one at the minute, which is going to be... It, it's, I think it's fun, but I'm not sure if I think it's fun because it's um, because it's my local park. Shout out to Rue for this one, for getting uh, their first video uploaded and then going, ah shit, that's a shit run. Uh, and shout out to Astu for beating it so that it doesn't get... <laughs> Doesn't get put the start. It is later in the video because it is a video, so we are, we will watch it. But um, yeah, Amino cracking on with most of the HP records, putting in a bid for uh, HP of the year this year. Very much so. Um, and by putting in a bid, I mean messaging me and saying, "Just remember <laughs> that I set all my records on hardcore parkour." But yeah. It's okay. Nude Hexagon. Crazy map. Did watch this replay actually. And like you just can't see where you're going. You go over the velocity pad and then you've just got to remember whatever's behind it. Because there's no way to see through these walls. Really like the, the positioning of them. There's nothing blocking it. It's just the positioning. But a really cool map this. Yeah, very good, but very weird map. I like hexagons. They're, they're one of my favourite shapes. Just visually appealing. And orange and black, I think, is one of the coolest colourways you can possibly do. This map... Nice of voltage, uh, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous map. Apparently, it should be faster to actually do the real route, but I'm not too sure. Still, not an easy map. Even if you don't do the official thing, you know, and you take the the pad, like this isn't particularly easy to get up, and it's slick, so you can't stop. But, yeah, very strange, strange layout for that one. But, of course, Amino takes it. A Sockham speed mapping contest map here. Yeah, the end on the ceiling kind of is a bit weird. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. This map's mad. We had a Lego brick, like single Lego studs. That's the one I was looking for. Nicely done, nicely done. It is insane the sort of speed mapping stuff and the stuff that Cool says that he's made in an hour. It's like, oh my god. It took me an hour to get a spawn and a two checkpoints and a finish.
precise, fine control. There's definitely something to it. Like, one of the reasons I wanted to learn mapping was to appreciate mapping more. Oh, you only have to do two of them. Huh. I thought you'd have to do all four sides, collect the checkpoint, collect the checkpoint. Um, yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to learn mapping was to appreciate kind of the things that people make and how difficult it must be to make them. You know, like, I can see how that would be reasonably doable to make but at the same time it's still not easy to make even though it's just a load of uh, hexagons you make one hexagon that's pretty easy but then it'll be about five brushes and they're a pain in the ass to multi-click and stuff like that making these smooth curves is I i'm just not even going to do it <laughs> making these smooth curves It is absolutely insane. Oh, this is a this is a crazy map. This one actually, this is well worth watching, Ninja Warrior. I gave it a go, and it's so difficult to get through some of the sections. I think I'd have a better chance at the real life Ninja Warrior than I would at this. Bonkers. It's a good run though. It's a good run. It'll be... In fact, I didn't run 10 meters away after opening Radiant. I did the first time. I actually did the first time. The, the stupid thing that I did that Cool did tell me I'm an idiot for is I refused to use a guide. Like I wanted to make something without any form of guide. I had literally no idea what I was doing. Couldn't figure anything out. Was just screaming at 522 being like, what the hell is going on? How do you even do this? I still don't know why um, so if I make single BSP, I get a proper map. If I make uh, any of the others with light maps, I get a bright red map, which I still have no idea about, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, it mapping's hard. Mapping is hard. This is the easy... Oh no, this is the one I played, Ninja Warrior Noob. I got past... I got to there once. And then fuck this section up and just went, nah. I actually haven't seen the difference between the two. A fail on Ninja Warrior Noob, but not a fail on the proper version. Interesting. Is that I can't see a difference. Unless the difference is literally no overbounce or something? Oh, here's Green Garden. Uh, this is the other record I had, if you noticed, I had two records. I had this one for about uh, half an hour. Very, very good map. Ah, potentially it's respawns and that's why he was able to respawn. Yeah, very good map with it. Absolutely cooked cut on both sections because those windows aren't solid. Really nice playing map though. Whether you play it with the cuts or whether you do it the more standard way. GGM run 4 fix. Didn't Astu have run 4? Or is that a different one? 
Apparently it wasn't fixed then. I'm going to say um, definitively not fixed properly. Whatever it was you fixed, you didn't do it right. Oops. Nicely done, though. Nicely done. It's impressive figuring out those, because I'd probably just restart if I got to... if I fell in that hole. Oh, here's a really good map. I'm not sure if this one's new or not. I think it might be. Uh, we're still in the new ones. This is a really good map. This, I think, or another map, was a, a Defrag World Cup for Quake 3 concept map. Which is absolutely mad. It is a really fun map though. Very much a grinding map. Very much a map. A map I think I could probably play for a whole week and grind out. Ah oh, yeah, we are still in it. Cool Revival 2. So these were new maps this month. Sad to remember, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. We are now at the end of November, on the 28th as I record this. Uh, and these are the October records, whereas normally I'm doing it within two or three days. But of course, XWC has happened, if you haven't saw, seen that, go watch it. It's all on my channel. It's all there. It was a long XWC, right, honestly. I decided last night while I was trying to get to sleep, I was trying to work out something to occupy my brain. And I was like, do you know what, I'm going to mind strafe all XDWC maps. Um, which potentially woke me up more than it should have. It was a long time ago from map one, you know. Map two's sort of still there. The problem was map 5, everything else was fine. The problem was map 5, because that one was so fresh in my brain, you know. Actually that's yes, because it wasn't last night, it was the night before, so it's literally 48 hours from the end of the tournament. Having just done map 5's call, uh, video. Hey, Mikey. What's up? Oh, this map. There's, there's no good route for this map. There just isn't. You're gonna eat something, no matter what you do. It's just about eating the least amount of ramps and hoping that it comes together at the end. This is a good route. It's a good route for a bad, for a bad routable map. And this one's just do it in reverse. Corners backwards. So more up than down, which I think actually flows better. Being more up than down. Because you're not going so fast. And you can land at the bottom of ramps and... Much easier, you know, you position yourself at the bottom of the ramp. Cleanly and well executed. Yesterday we lost 
This about reminds me of texturing for uh, Unreal Tournament. I think just anything brickwork and that sort of thing does really. That game is just bricks. Bricks and moss. Ooh, that is a tight jump. Oh yeah, it's, that's KZ. Yeah. Yellow torture. As you've just seen, there's a uh, slick in a lot of places. Some of it you have to actually use. Some of it you effectively it's just to stop you from not using it, or uh, stop you from stopping and trying to go slowly. This map is chaotic. And again, absolutely mad how you would build something like this. Because placing all of these blocks is just very difficult. Game chugging a little bit there. What KZ is call a normal map, we call a torture map. It's so precise, it really... Roblox that I have no idea. I I refuse to watch Roblox surf. Like I will watch damn near anything. Oh, that would confuse the hell out of me. Having invisible but solid, like effectively glass. Always confuses me. Can I land on it? Even great, it's like, can I land on it? The walk up map this week. I was like, can I can I stand on this? Because it looks like there's a platform in the middle and it looks like you'll just get slowed down or stuck. Turns out it's a grate over the top of it, and it's not—it's not got up and downs. It just looks a bit like it does, but there's a, a like a a mesh layer sort of thing to it. But that would get me. Yeah, I refuse. I will watch anything from any movement mode if it comes up in my feed. I refuse to watch uh, Roblox stuff and Roblox movement stuff. Oh. Um. Potentially you can't do that in Quake 3. Because, yeah. <laughs> you might want to put a lid on that. I wholeheartedly expect for my map to get immediately shortcut. I'm going to do my best to box it all in properly. And make it unshortcuttable. But I still half expect it to happen. Yeah, someone's going to wreck the timing. Someone will somehow find a way. I'm like trying to work out how okay so how can I stop people from ignoring the trigger uh, that takes away you know in that bit that you climb up um, this will make more sense when everyone else has seen the map the wall climb bit I've given eight shots for that you only need two two shots effectively the fastest way is two shots up and then one shot on the floor at the top to get you going again I've given eight shots so that basically everyone should be able to get up with eight shots. If you can't get up with eight shots, oh this is a good run. This was a good run when I saw the first one, last one was Akimoli doing this. This will be good then, look at that. I do believe we're now out of uh, new maps as well. Well it must be because that one's definitely not new and this one isn't new. Uh, yeah, so that bit, 
I was trying to work out how to make people not um, not able to miss the trigger to take away the weapon. Uh, someone's probably still going to be able to do it. And the best I could come up with was making the trigger to give the weapon the same as a checkpoint. So it's just, here's your checkpoint, and at the same time, you get a weapon. Ooh, we are chugging a little bit here. This is a new map, actually, I think. Unless it was released the month, um, whatever the month before October is. I think it might have been actually. A few cuts on this map, quite a dangerous map. Uh, if you fall off, I believe it's a death. Um, so cutting corners, quite dangerous. But certainly doable. And you can cut some big corners if you get up enough speed. And then it's just deciding what's worth cutting. There's an absolute monster cut that's possible at the start. Um, I don't believe anyone's done it in a full run yet. I managed to do it once, but I couldn't control the speed after I did it. I didn't get around the next corner and just went straight off the end. But yeah. Nice little pre-run there for me. Schlimp. really quite schlimple. That's clean. That's so clean. Nice to see the slapper back. Couple of maps where he couldn't slap. Beautifully done. That map's so close to just being uh, a beta version of War Defrag World Cup 2019 4 or 2017 5, I think. Can't remember quite. I'm bad at map names. done beautifully done of course goblins over here with a slick primarily record your new XCWC champion, of course, Mr. Goblin. Well, returning and repeating, I suppose, he is.
That map was bugged, I remember. Freestyling. That's a pretty good uh, skate park. Has this got forced checkpoint order? Because I'm sure he's gone back to that uh, half pipe before. Or like a multiple force checkpoint. This runs. This runs clean. Other, well, other than the Z fighting in the water. Just a warm up before XGWC, you know. So I made the school from Pro Skater, probably. Worldspawn.q uh, or ws.q3df. What on earth was that skip? Hold on. Look at this flick. I literally blinked and missed it, I think. I was watching that and it just went. Such a clean flick. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had made it, but at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if someone hadn't made it. Because it would be a difficult map to make. And probably not that good as a defrag map as well. Curved ramps just don't work. They're only good for... Uh, yeah, I'm just entirely unsurprisable. This map's got a difficult start, getting across there and not losing the speed. Ooh, off the middle, that's quite nice. The curve ramps work for VQ3. The only time I've seen them is for a cool finish, just make it slick, send you straight up in the air. But do they like work properly? Have you not seen that route before, Des? That's the standard, standard route. Yeah, do, do they work? Here's Ruse Zeal Omnitech. Oh, mid is new? Okay, I might not have been paying enough attention. Do they work in mid-map then, Cos? Ah oh, yeah, we saw Frosty on this one earlier. A nice run. Alright. Oh, I've only seen an end map. End of map, just to literally fling you into a finish line that's above the finish, uh, above the, yeah. Here's the finish, go vroom, and up into it, just because it's cool. Oof. Make sure you pay attention for that one. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that was such a beautiful drop off of the slick. This is an insane map. You just think everything's nutty. This is all normal. Oh, God, I sent, um, I forgot his name. 
Dying Light. No, that's a game. It's a bit light. Damned like that's the fucker. Yeah. I asked him if he'd play XCWC. He said he only wants to play um He only wants to play Quake 3. Oh yeah, curved ramps. Yeah. I forgot about this map. You can finish underneath! I killed so many runs because I wasn't going high enough. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Oh, up is closer. Okay. I, uh, yeah, but I thought I couldn't even do it. Like, killed runs because they were just nowhere near. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I sent it, sent Cool's run, uh, not Cool, Goblin's run on map 5 to Damned Light. And all he said was, well, that's just a clean run on a combo map. It's like, dude, watch Delta's run and tell me that that's not something actually cracked. Like, what the fuck? Especially because we were all... Like... Uh, yeah, Delta's run compared to Knight's run. Knight's run was a clean run on a combo map. Delta's run was something else. Like, more than clean. And then Goblin did at least five things that no one else did. And hit two ramps and didn't get a hole in one. J just to make sure that... Uh, well, that was a nice respawn trick. Cleanly knowing that 600 speed will get you where you want to be. Yeah, Goblin's room wasn't clean. He hit. He didn't get the hole in one, which Knight said was. Knight said for Dizzy should have been worth 0.4. Um, but that for Goblin probably 0.2 to 0.3. And Goblin's. And then he hit the thing, which if you just take Delta's. C, he was going faster than Delta, but even if you take Delta's CP time for that bit where he hits the up ramp, you get. Uh, you get a point two saving, so it's literally a forty uh, seven. I think we've nearly hit three hundred justs. Oh, poor Cos. There's no cooldown. You just have to type just as the first word. Not forehead. <laughs> just 300 forward. Nice. Source trying to run away from Goblin to uh, stop him from overtaking the overall points. Managed to stave him off for this month, and realistically, that should mean. Oh, wait. Uh, spoilers for next month. Something happened there. No, I got, I've got Cos on my end. I've got Cos beating Dez. Juiced. Ooh, nicely done. And considering make it, I've already like. I know I said I just want to make one map and that's it, and then I'm happy. I'm like, hmm, I should make a slick map. Hmm. 
Bez is always taking hard looks at himself. A slick map with curved ramps? No. There will be zero ramps because of ramp bugs. Okay, so there was e there's two options. Either one, ramps are not slick, uh, which means that I need to pester Cos for how to make Quake 3 style slick, because otherwise it'll be a pain in the ass if everything has to be duplicated and have the bottom of the texture set to no effect and fucking shit like that. That's a pain. <laughs> That's not happening. So I'll just do Slick the Quake 3 way with a shader file. Uh, no, it, it'll read it. You shouldn't, but it'll read it. I mean, if I have to do it as a Quake 3 map and then just run it in Xenotic and, you know, and do everything Quake 3 and do a defi file and make, make the game think that it's a Quake 3, well, not make the game think it's a Quake 3, just actually make a Quake 3 map, then that'll work. Yeah, so I, yeah, you can you can definitely do it, it'll read the, it will read the shader files. And that's going to be easier than making the entire map and then overlaying the entire map, because I'd have to make the entire map and then copy paste the whole thing to duplicate it and then click the bottom of every surface. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> the other option for doing it is we can put in the map info file any commands we want and we can set SV friction zero, which makes everything slick. Um, but it makes everything slick. And what I want is if there's a ramp, it shouldn't be slick. Just straight up, it shouldn't be slick. Because I don't want people to have to try and get no slick bugs and stuff like that. If I'm using a ramp, it will be f it won't be for a landing. It will be for a jump. It will be for a takeoff. So you slick up to the bottom, and then you start jumping. The other option, which Five E suggested to me, is I just use velocity pads. Just wherever I'd put a ramp, is just put a velocity pad like that, and then just make the entire map, which should basically be the same thing, except I could control things a little bit better. But yeah, yeah. Net Radiant's used. Net Radiant custom specifically because otherwise Cos will kill you, uh, and he has every right to. Now that I've used Net Radiant custom over Net Radiant, yeah. What the hell are we doing advertising a, ma a mapping tool that literally is actually broken to the point where you can't select things? Although I was kind of hoping that you would be able to select stuff from the 2D view, but you still can't because you'll click the cork first. Which is a bit annoying. It didn't click through for me. Net Radiant Regular can't do that. It's, it was a bit weird for me, because I was looking at how Ash gave and took um, gave and took weapons in map 5 to work out how that all happened. And um, he gave and took weapons. Every time he gave and took a weapon, it was a checkpoint as well. So And sometimes it was very easy to click and then click again and it would cycle through the two overlaying blocks. The two overlaying triggers because one's a checkpoint like you would just put one trigger and have it link to two have a trigger multiple wouldn't you for quake 3 whereas we've got to put a trigger race checkpoint and a trigger multiple that triggers the uh, item the target item and sometimes it clicked through to the second one really easily and sometimes it didn't and that was even more annoying when I when it happened on the map when I was actually making my own map, instead of just looking at the map, making my own map because I didn't want to change what the checkpoint was doing. The checkpoint is perfectly fine and doesn't need to move and nor does it need to change. <laughs> but I couldn't get it to click on the uh, trigger multiple. 
and trigger entities with checkpoints in Zom? Huh. I may have to look into that one. I just did it because Ash did it. Basically, was my that's my honest honest reason. Uh, looked at what Ash did. There was a trigger checkpoint and a trigger multiple in the same overlapping, and the trigger multiple went and gave you the item. It was linked to give the item. Oh, so I can just chuck that in there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll probably do that. This map just looks so clean. I do have to remind myself when I, when we're watching these sort of things. Like, we're watching these, and it's it's perfection. But that's because we're watching world records. You don't see how many times everybody fucked it. You don't get to see that. Yeah, it is a bit of a getting lost map. Is it this map? I just saw the CPM thing. I, I seem to remember it might have been one of the other versions of this map. Where you basically go straight past the CPM one and go to the VQ3 because it's faster. <laughs> so that is the VQ3 route and there is a sign there. Oh, this map's so difficult to get the spacing for. It's like a really difficult map. Re easy to do if you just go through it and you don't care, but like... So difficult to get the spacing for. Just, there's no spacing that works other than the fast one. You either do it right or you don't do it at all, pretty much. It's annoying. Yeah. Well, not even the, even the non-pro route is just eat, eating shit. Or you're going ridiculously fast and then you have to take the corner super tight. Which is really difficult. This is such a cooked skybox. I still need to figure out how you do skyboxes. I put a skybox in, it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, all of these like AI art type VP maps are just mad. It's weird watching these like yeah, a bunch of them. Absolute bunch of them. I think the name of the map is what VP chucked into an AI art generator. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he typed vibrant balls into a AI art generator and it spat, spat that out. Because there's one called Rainbow Pony. And it it, the picture is, if you typed Rainbow Pony into a generator, it would give you that. It's an interesting use for the art, to be fair. It's, it's not one of the ridiculous uses for AI making art. Yeah, there is the how off-putting is your um, your skybox. Some of them more so than others. I probably need to find a balance for mine because my map is going to be out in open space, but it's going to be trying to look like it's not <laughs> at the same time.
but it's going to be mostly the skybox. Oh yeah, everything produced by AI is Uncanny Valley. And the worst part is people have started copying that Uncanny Valley for YouTube thumbnails and like real people editing. It's a nice skybox set. Okay. I mean, I just couldn't think... I've, there's a skybox that I'm perfectly happy to use. Um, I just can't figure out how to put a skybox in. It wasn't add skybox, give it a texture. I gave up at that point. I'll be honest, didn't put too much time into it, nor a Google search. Partially because I had realized by the point that I even tried to do it, I'd realized uh, I need to stop putting random ass textures all over the map and at some point I'm going to need to retexture the entire map because I've got no idea where half of the textures came from texture the inside of your cork box with the sky box ah that makes sense what if I've got multiple cork boxes or should I just take the entire map and put it in an enormous cork box there is a skybox feature It's one of the three things you can get to without going to a submenu. One of them is DOM. The other one's World Spawn, which is blocks. Actual map. <laughs> oh, this is a good map. This is a really good map. Uh, potentially cork has a pro um, property if the rest of the block is cork it's there's a weird thing that I'm trying to work out so I I thought potentially why can't we make so cause showed me something yesterday for making slick in Zonotic you put you put a slick box that's just slick and then on the bottom and then you you merge that with another exactly the same size box with your texture on it because the slick is invisible but solid and then on the bottom of that you put non a non-solid property on the bottom of your texture so that you fall through the texture it's strange <laughs> but it uh yeah, it made me think, okay, so what if I put slick on the bottom of a thing, but apparently that doesn't work. Cool, yeah, I probably should. I could ask, I could ask cool as well. Most of the stuff I've been doing the last couple of days, cool hasn't, well, I haven't asked him, he probably would be able to help, but I've kind of not asked cool because it's all been like xenotic specific stuff.
Where I need to put the cork is a strange one that I've got to figure out. Okay. Oh yeah, it's this one. Go up as fast as you can. Go back down as fast as you can. Okay. Yeah. Some of the Kota race maps are buggy. Quality content. It's a shame because both of those maps are quite interesting maps. Outside of having a skip. But once the map's released, that's it. He looked like he was going to continue there after that one. So yeah, cross the cross the line. I'm just going to keep going. Just going to keep running around. This map in all its ingloriousness. Oh, I should test your map after this, cos. Uh, remind me after we've gone through all the records. Where are we at now? 89. We're a bit more than halfway through. I shall look how to make a skybox in a bit and probably put one on. And having cork doesn't block that, does it? If I surround other bits of the map in cork, or is that literally only if I have the entire map? open because I was cool said I want to block I mean basically cork is used for like optimizing stuff you know so for stuff that you don't want other people to be able to see or the, the game to render because otherwise it will just render everything behind everything else Yeah. 
So it's whether I want to put the skybox on the internal one or whether I want to take everything after and surround it. Because part of the other thing is I want uh, an invisible... I want an invisible wall as well in a couple of places. Um, so I'm going to have... Because I'm going to use... Uh, like course marking tape which kind of sits about hip height so it'll probably be one one course marking tape which will probably be 64 units or whatever uh, and then an invisible wall above that but if cork's gonna block anything behind it then I don't want to use cork obviously if cork will make everything behind that invisible And slip challenge easy. This is apparently the easy version. Beautifully done. Yeah. That's insane. Who is this QE Fran person? I don't recognise him. Damn, Pakistan. Long, long grind map. I can imagine a VQ3 map being almost cleaner than this. Because you'd have to be pretty clean. Torch, like, that sort of thing. This isn't a torture map, really, but... This sort of thing is very difficult. Uh... Do -do -do. Is it underscore dash trilogy? R7 trilogy is quite easy. Yeah, we got LG. We got a knockback LG. R7 trilogy is considered quite easy by the fact that 21 people have finished it. Uh, that's a lot for a <laughs> anything close to a difficult map. It's a lot for any map on HP that's not XUWC. To be fair, very few people play HP maps at all. I should bother more. If I'm in the mood to like grind something out, I'd rather like get super, super difficult things done. Double checking it's that way. 
I wouldn't be able to have a clue where I was going. I am absolutely dreadful at mazes, even if I know what I'm doing. I'm dreadful at them. Next square. You're a square. There is quad, but you have to fuck around to enable it. Uh, check the bottom of the running maps offline. Thing. It's got how you do G underscore power ups. And then you just add a map map info and in map info you can do set temp i'll send you the thing for how to set temporary variables per map yeah jaska made it so that uh they can actually be used for some of them but quad was always able to be used it's just it literally is just off by default and it's dumb straight up g underscore power ups is off by default it's yeah oh close managed to save it though Very, very nicely done. What a run. Dog's trying to get in my room. Come on then. Good boy. It is warm in here. He would like me to go and feed him. How many more have we got? Nah. You're gonna have to just sit there, Reg. Alright, cheers coming, Des. See you later. Tea smells good, though. Having I mean, now opened my... Stack Overflow. Oh, I had that a bunch when I accidentally made a Quake 3 map. I used half Quake 3 entities and half Synotic entities. And I can't remember what the fix was other than... There was a fix other than make everything Synotic entities, which I did do because I'm making a map for Synotic and I know I'm never going to port this map to Quake 3 as well because it's got Crylink in it, so it can't be ported. Actually, it could be ported. It could be ported if I just said sod it. Does it say race? Um, check race checkpoint doesn't have something race. Uh, race equals zero. There should be something that's. Race underscore something is zero equals equals zero. Is it that one? Or is it not? Oh no, that just crashed the map. That didn't crash the actual game itself. Okay, I've got no idea then. I believe this map, uh, Riffo had or has the world record in Warsaw for this map. And it's absolutely mad 
because you can gain speed on slick so easily and then you can immediately turn around in war so so he gains insane amounts of speed and then launches it and then here where cool turns around war so you just flick and instantly can keep all your speed absolutely mad no checkpoints no nothing on this map I wish we did have the ability for non-mandatory checkpoints, to be honest. Just for timekeeping purposes, but no. I thought he was going up at that point, but no, there's no way you're getting that. <sighs> Huge gapping. Huge gapping. There's a dog looking at me hungrily. Beautifully done. Make a bunch of CPs and trigger other CPs. Yes, but that would only trigger... So you can do multiple CP. If you want to have two routes, say, two identical routes, left and a right, you make the route and then you say this this checkpoint and this checkpoint they're both checkpoint two and if you go through either of them it takes checkpoint two we can't even have if you make one in quake 3 with no checkpoints it creates a checkpoint order file the first person to run through a map which can fuck checkpoints up entirely because if you do a shortcut the first time you have to still get the other checkpoint um, and then we have to delete the checkpoint order file because otherwise it's pointing you to the wrong checkpoint it's great it's brilliant this map's just weird I... yeah At least he got his cake, though. Yeah, you can have multiple setters, one, two, and three. But you have to take checkpoint one before you can take checkpoint two. You can't take them in any order. I wish we didn't I wish that it was possible to take them in any order like or to even have completely optional like you don't even have to take the checkpoint 
but yeah, because I did just think, hold on, what if you just put right in the f like inside the one block before the finish line? But we don't use targets, so would I don't know if that'd work because it's not a, a checkpoint's not a target. And if it triggers all of them, then for splits timing, you've just triggered everything by hitting checkpoint one, and it's not going to do any splits for everything else. You're just going to go, and in this instant, <laughs> at five seconds and 13 milliseconds, you hit checkpoint one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ran to the finish 25 seconds later. Yeah, I was going to say you could put every checkpoint. Yeah, you can't have it perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's probably possible to do, but we'd have to improve. It'd be a big project to do. Because you'd have to make it... Um, Except uh, I don't think you'd have to add new entities, you just have to add a um, an optional tag to checkpoints. that just allows the finish to happen even if the checkpoints haven't been taken and then you could have some forced checkpoints and some unforced checkpoints because entirely forced checkpoints are fine for most maps like this what are you going to do? <laughs> As long as they've put the checkpoints in correctly, at least, and that they fill the entire space. What are you going to do otherwise? But for anything... Yeah, because there's, there's some maps where you can't do a shortcut. This is probably... Yeah, this isn't one. But like the the squiggly line type maps, there's some maps where you can't do a shortcut in Zenotic because you have to take a checkpoint right where the shortcut is. Whereas in Quake 3 you can just take that shortcut because checkpoints don't matter. And you can't use kills because they break everything. They all... Torture map should have CPs laid flat across horizontally when reaching certain Z heights. Yeah, true. The only problem with that would be if you made a torture map that was downwards rather than up. Because then you'd just jump off the side and you could probably make it. Unless you put kill planes in, I suppose. You'd have to put a couple of kill planes in. Ooh, no ooh nice. Very nice. Uh, you didn't miss much, cool. Just like most of your records for the month, I think. And mostly uh, doing the classic, ignoring the actual gameplay that's going on and talking about something entirely different. At least this time it's mostly, uh, <laughs> mostly related to the game. 
talking about mapping and stuff. No, really good records on really good maps. I don't know why the textures don't work on this one, but yeah. These maps work surprisingly well in Xenotic, and I don't understand how. Like, the HGB maps, he just somehow fluked it every single time he made a map. It all flows, and all of the ramps work. <laughs> and they're all just, like, pretty good. There's no... No weird shit. No broken stuff. Yeah, but he spaced the maps for a different game. <laughs> There's some really well spaced maps that work really well in Quake 3 and then are absolutely horrendous in Xenotic. And like, ramps. There's no ramps on his maps that are just awful. Like this is awful because these ramps are too steep for Xenotic because we can't DJ ramps. So that makes it look easy. Is that a yawn or a whine? Dog really wants feeding, but I'm uh, I'm torturing him because <laughs> there's not that many records left, and technically it's only like four minutes past the time that I'd normally feed him. That teleport that you just went through is absolutely hateful. It's so difficult to to fit through. This is a really good map by a insane mapper, as we've already seen earlier. Although actually this is the slower run. <laughs> it's the faster run already ran. Shush. Oh boy. Was this the map call that was uh, pro, um, like a, an idea for Defrag World Cup? Called Revival. Was that a different map? Or are you talking about something completely different, or am I misremembering something that never happened at all? Very nicely done. That's a um, difficult ramp to do there. Cheers, just. Go back to it. So, not here. So, this next ramp is. You've got to double jump it, but without double jumping, because we don't have double jump. So, it's a ridiculous map. 
Ah, oh, right, layout for Defro World Cup in 2018. That's mad. It is definitely Defrag World Cup quality, though. You are quite tall. Uh, hello, Reggie. Go on, then. Off you go. He's going to want to get back in in a second. Yeah, so you can't you can't double jump ramps in Zenotic like you can in Quake 3. So getting that angle to be able to get a jump and then jump again. I don't know, does Zenotic have target speed? Don't ask me. There you go. That was nice in the finish. I've seen a lot of bonks at the end there. Oh yeah, Xenotic doesn't support Ents. That's the problem. We we had some problems with the trees, uh, so we had to stop supporting the Ents. That's where Ash came from. We're pretty happy with our decision to get maps like this, instead of having some fucking trees wandering around, stealing the spawns. Curved ramp! I forgot about those ones. And that's actually a Xenotic one. I'm very surprised by that. Because that, that's Ash. That's a Xenotic only map. But that map won't work in Quake 3. Wait, well, you'd have to port it sort of thing. You'd have to redo all the entities and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the actual layout will, but you wouldn't be able to just drop the PK3 in because it wouldn't have a start. Well, you can, but it has no checkpoints, no start, no finish because <laughs> I did it with round three before the ones got uploaded now with actual Quake 3 things in them. Big shortcut. Yeah, you can port anything. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. I like that Riffo saw this map. So th the stupid part about this, despite the fact that we have unlimited weapons on this game, that is still slower than Quake 3 because you can cut out the entirety of the map. As I said when Zas did some fucked up shit because he did the CPM skip in VQ3. Like I I watched that, I joined that stream from the War Cup halfway through. And I was like, I'm sure there was more to this map when I played it because I didn't finish the map because I it was just before XCWC so I just couldn't be asked. I was like, what the fuck? I'm sure there used to be some map. <laughs> well, that's a new route. It is a nice map though. In fact, this is a solid map. Like I said earlier when it was on with Cool's record on it. This map is 
basically treated as a warm up for HWC this year. It was on the servers the whole time before HWC started. Like the week before it was on, at least half the time. And I got a really nice time on it actually. A good time. Oh yeah. No. Zass is insane. I don't understand how good Zass is a lot of the time because I don't understand Q th VQ3. Um Yeah, oh yeah, you did, you absolutely demolished the record. I I put it at the start of the stream. If you, you think it's the second or third record, Yeah, I've seen a few things. I need, I'm still trying to learn VQ3, but the problem is every week that I go and I'm like, I'm going to learn VQ3, I go to play the... I can't bother to just play maps because there's no random maps. Quake 3 servers need to just randomise maps when nobody's online instead of going back to shit maps that they all have for the defaults. Like, they're all just ST1. For most of them. But, uh... Yeah, you did destroy this. It's in the wrong order. Huh. Yeah, we saw this one, like, 20 minutes ago from yours yeah I need to I just want to learn strafing like not proper VQ3 and not fucking all the hard stuff I just want to learn strafing a bit in VQ3 and just get used to that first before I start doing all the other stuff I want to make it because I've seen people play, it looks clean. You can do clean stuff. I might just knob on to Ghost Strafe 7 or something. Like a, a really easy map. And just through it. Very nicely done. Oh, this... <laughs> okay, he has given up. He has officially given up. That's good. Riffo, for the last two months, has been trying to make a pre-fire work on that map, and he just hasn't been able to. Just to e Either you can't catch up to the rocket, or you go too fast for the rocket. There is no in between angle that you can aim for that's faster to shoot the rocket usually you can't catch up to it and he, he yeah oh yeah there's all snap zone stuff i'm not even talking about snap zone stuff i just mean i lose all speed and start from a circle jump every time i get to a corner in VQ3. I would like to just be able to continue with some amount of speed. I have what I think is a decent run on... Oh, G it's a GPL map. Uh, I can't think of what it is. Where are we? We're right at the end. We have comps. I bet it's too far back. It was way ages ago. Not even there. Damn. Way ages ago. This one. GPL Strangeland. 
I think my run on D GPL Strangeland is decent. It's a 21.016, which is like really slow. But it was clean. No major wall hits, no eating everything. A big bit of slowdown because I didn't quite understand how to position myself against a wall. <laughs> and still don't, to be fair. But, but I, I was quite happy with it. There was 16.104 in CPM. But I spent more time in v VQ3 that week because I've played played Strangeland a fair bit in Xenotic. So I was like, eh, I can't be bothered to do. I'll just do VQ3 because I know that the map's good. Boom. Nicely done. Oh, this is just a straight line map, isn't it? Look at that. Oh yeah, I need to I do need to work on actually caring about playing outside of XWC. Cuz I'll care for like 20 minutes and that's it. And then I'll just go, eh, done. Happy with that. <laughs> XDWC forces me to play for the entire month. Like, I don't play anything other than XDWC. Like, not even another game. Actually, I did play Trackmania, but I don't normally. But I haven't had a job, so I've got nothing else to do. But, yeah. Last corner, more speed. Gets the finish. Oh, what what a beautiful map. I think this is the last one. It's either the last one or second last one. What a map. You just count the number of jumps sideways and then you fall off. This is one of my highest scoring maps, just to prove your point, cool, with me being a good strafer. Like something you said ages ago about me having really good core strafe. I just don't know what to do with it. This map. I was like sixth or something. It's one of my highest scoring maps. I don't like that it's one of my highest scoring maps because it was boring to get. I set it in like six runs or something, I think. Because the ups and downs don't matter in Xenotic. Like they do in Quake 3, you have to care in Quake 3. You don't have to care in Xenotic about the ups and downs. Which is nice. And there it is, that was the end of it. That was the end of the month. Thank you to everybody who played, thank you to Cool for setting the most world records this month. Uh, we'll be back for November in not too much time. It is the 28th as I record this, so really not too many days until November records are out. Uh, this would normally be less records, but a couple of people decided they didn't want to play XWC and were treasonous and played on regular servers. So we've got uh, quite a lot of records from two certain individuals next month. But it has been a fantastic month. Thank you everybody. Thank you to everyone who joined XWC. Check out those streams if you haven't already. All the guides are in the bottom description. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully next month we will have uh, some more great records. See you next month.